Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Pro Gamer here and for today's video We are back with another NBA 2k21 my team gauntlet spotlight sim challenge now for today's video We are going to be doing the Jason Richardson dunks only challenge So if we take a look at this challenge Hall of Fame difficulty 21 point triple threat win the game and record 11 dunks with a player to earn Jason Richardson now if you do quick math 11 dunks multiplied by two points a dunk 22 points so every shot you take in this game needs to be a dunk for it to work now i guess there is one caveat to that which is you have to win the game by two points or more so if you don't have the right amount of dunks you can let the cpu catch up and then just keep going like two points for two points until you get the right amount of dunks and then just try and blow them out at the end and win but we're going to try and actually win this game so for this example i am going to use these three cards right here once i put some contracts on them so We've got Pink Diamond Bol Bol, Pink Diamond Alexei Pokashevsky, as well as Dark Matter Bill Russell. Now, for my offense, I'm going to be using Bill Russell. He's going to be my shortest player on the team, which makes things just a little bit easier. Hence why these guys are mostly, well, here to be really tall, as well as to get boards, rebounds, blocks, etc. So, if we load up this challenge, basically how it's going to work is we're going to inbound the ball to Bill Russell. We're going to run a quick give and go play, pass the ball back. And as your player, or as Bill Russell is driving to the basket, you're going to want to hold down on the controller, if I can put it in frame, R2, as well as hold down the shoot button right there. If you hold them both at the same time, you should automatically go into a dunk animation, especially with a tall player like Bill Russell. The other advantage is all these guys on the opposition team are pretty small. You got a small forward slash power forward, which I'd probably say is more of a, I guess he's a power forward, but you could probably almost say he's a small forward in real life, a point guard and a shooting guard. So... We should have the height advantage, which makes things a little bit easier. Now, we get the ball in. Yeah, again, left on the D-pad. Give and go. They're going to space out. We're going to drive, pull back, pass it off, and then get the ball, pass it into A, hold those buttons down. And unfortunately for us, we actually end up getting a layup animation, which kind of sucks because, yet again, it means we either need to restart the challenge if we get one of those animations. Here we go. There's a dunk there. But yeah, we need to either restart the challenge if we get one of those animations, or we have to let the opposition team catch up, go into like triple threat overtime and get uh, get it done there. Also, I guess the other thing you could do, get a couple of quick steals like that. Oh, unfortunately, we didn't make the bucket there. But anyway, if you get a couple quick steals like that, make things a little bit easier on yourself. But yeah, so let's get the ball, go into the middle of the court, call the give and go, go play, let them space out, pull back, pass it off, let your player go into his animation, and there's a dunk. So, yeah, as long as you, like, get the dunk animation each time, you should be fine. You can go into overtime if you like. Try and get the steals here if you can. Make it a little easier for yourself. Get the rebound. Pass it to Bill Russell. Let everyone set up. Go to the halfway line. Pull back. Pass it off. And then ISO in straight to Bill Russell. Now, if Bill Russell, in this case, doesn't get it, literally just pull it back out and reset. Give and go play. Run it down. Pull back. Pass it off into Bill Russell, and another dunk animation. So, uh, yeah, as long as you keep getting that dunk animation, you're going to be fine. Yet again, you can go into the triple threat overtime if you want to, or you can just restart the challenge however you want to do it. But, uh, yeah, you do that the whole way. Get your 22 points, get all your 11 dunks, and you should unlock yourself the uh, J. Rich card. Now, I guess the other thing to note is, as well, having the uh, Bill Russell get takeover should help with getting a bit, little bit quicker and get these dunk animations in, I believe. Don't quote me on that, though, but either way, having him with his takeover ability, it's not going to hurt. So, uh, yeah, and then as you can see, just uh, once you get your dunks on defense, just play lockdown defense. Try to stop your opposition from scoring three-point shots because, well, you can only shoot twos if they're shooting threes and making them. It's going to make things a little bit harder for you. But give and go, pull back, pass to one of your guys, let the animation go through, and yeah, unfortunately, we got a lap. If your player does get that close to the basket, you can probably just pass it out and reset. But uh, I yeah, probably shouldn't be taking those shots if I'm actually trying to do this challenge, to be honest. There we go. Get the ball back. In this case, the defenders get in front to stop me from getting to the basket. So pull back, give and go, crossover, pull back, and then let him drive to the basket, get in the animation, and throw down the dunk. So yeah, at this point, if we were to want to complete the challenge, let the CPU catch up. Go into that overtime, as I mentioned earlier. Otherwise, like I said, if you don't mind wasting contracts a little bit, reset, and uh, yeah, you should be good to go. So, 
that is today's video. That is the dunk challenge. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Hope this little give and go play does help you guys complete it and get yourself a Jay Richardson. Get that one step closer to getting the invincible taco fall. And uh, yeah, social media links in the description below. I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial. I don't know which one, who's going to be on it or who it's going to be about. But uh, yeah, we'll figure that out soon enough. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Until then, guys. See ya.